Dry fasting consists of depriving yourself of water and also food. What this does in the human body is essentially when we do not eat any food, our body is going to increase its metabolism to generate energy. But when you take water out of the equation, your body is going to even increase its metabolism rate even at a faster pace because the body needs water. And when you take water and food out of the equation, it's going to increase your metabolism to create some kind of energy in the body because the body still needs energy to live off of. And that's what is so interesting about dry fasting because people are starting to discover that they're losing more weight and they're finding all these different types of benefits where you can burn excess amount of fat through dry fasting versus just water fasting. I'm gonna talk about my eight top things of why dry fasting can benefit the body. Number one is that dry fasting can reduce inflammation in the whole body. The National Institute of Health conducted a systemic review on various studies that focused on dry fasting during Ramadan. The systemic review explored a cross-sectional studies on 50 volunteers. These were healthy individuals, 21 men and 29 women, which was conducted to explore fluctuation in the circulation path of pro-inflammatory cytokine markers at three instances, which was one week before Ramadan, three weeks into Ramadan, and one month after Ramadan. Now, according to the study, they found that the pro-inflammatory markers of IL-1 beta, IL-6, and TNF alpha showed a significant decrease during Ramadan. The second way that dry fasting can benefit the body is that it can drop cholesterol levels. Now I've talked about this in before that people, if it's done right, now a lot of these studies, again, I'm sorry, but with dry fasting, a lot of these studies have to come from Ramadan. I hope someday that they start utilizing more, uh, more beneficial types of studies that don't have to deal with Ramadan because Let's be honest, not everybody does it healthy where they break their fast, but some do. And I think where this can be beneficial, where you can decrease your cholesterol levels as long as you're breaking your fast properly. Another study done by the National Institute of Health conducted another study, a cohort study, where during, of course, Ramadan. But they also looked at the different healthy individuals doing it during doing Ramadan. So this was a meta-analysis of 30 cohort studies. Each study examined different healthy individuals, both both male and female, during Ramadan to see if there was different biomarkers that were beneficial during Ramadan other than just losing weight. And what they found is that in females, HDL, which is considered the good cholesterol, did increase significantly. In males, they found that there was a significant decrease in weight. LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, total cholesterol as well, decreased as well as triglycerides. And among both male and female, they did find that LDL, which is considered the bad cholesterol, did decrease. The third way that dry fasting can benefit the body is that it can decrease blood glucose levels. A cohort study was done that was performed during Ramadan in 2002 to determine the changes of metabolic profile and weight during Ramadan fasting. What they found as far as the results is overall blood glucose sugar levels did decrease over time during the Ramadan period along with weight. Now, why is it important to decrease our blood sugar levels? As we know, that can contribute to prediabetes and diabetes, which then can lead to kidney failure. It can lead to poor circulation, then also can lead to heart conditions. So it's really something that uh, here, especially in the US, is becomes a really big issue for people's health. And also just to look at anti-aging aspect, when you can really prevent from having diabetes, that's going to prolong our life as well as also quality of life. The fourth way that dry fasting benefits the body is that it can prevent osteoporosis. A Saudi Arabian study showed that during Ramadan, they measured and modulated parathyroid hormone secretion, which is very important for our bone health. But what they found is that the process of parathyroid secretion was more efficient, which thus can really help contribute to our bone health, and thus delaying the process of early onset of osteoporosis. The fifth way that dry fasting can benefit the body is that it can help reducing insulin resistance. Dr. AC, if I'm pronouncing that right, an associate professor at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston recently conducted a study on dry fasting. The researchers discovered that there were certain parts in the body during dry fasting that activated particular parts of proteins. 
or at least that dry fasting increase these particular proteins in the human body. And what these proteins do is they help improve insulin resistance, or at least start decreasing insulin resistance to help with our metabolic syndrome that people tend to have. This helps us prove that it is a well-known fact that dry fasting can improve insulin resistance and where people tend to have prediabetes or diabetes or concern of losing weight, this is why dry fasting can be helpful in this aspect. So this kind of leads into the sixth way of why fast dry fasting is benefit to the body is, well, losing weight. And that's where a lot of you and a lot of people use dry fasting is they find that they lose a lot of weight when they are dry fasting. Now, dry fasting, as you know, you can lose a lot of weight through dry fasting. It also, as we talked about before, can increase our metabolism so we don't have to worry about bouncing back as long as you're breaking it fast. But people who are diabetic have to be really careful monitoring their blood sugar levels. And dry fasting is not for everybody, especially for people who have kidney issues, which a lot of diabetic people do. And you have to be really careful because you can be running into really dangerous territory. So you always got to check with your physician first before really diving into dry fasting. The seventh way that dry fasting can benefit the body is that it can help with cell regeneration and also prevent from cell damage with the immune system. A new study indicates that prolonged dry fasting or at least dry fasting can help increase levels of the immune system which then leads to protection against the immune system being damaged which then of course does help regenerate the immune system so therefore we're able to fight off more infections in the long run. Immune cells are activated and regenerated, and they do shift from dormant state to a self-renewal state when our body is fasting. So according to this breakthrough study, what this means, this process of activating and regenerating our cells also can stimulate our stem cells, which is really beneficial. I've talked about this before, that can help stimulate stem cells and regenerate also cells that need to be regenerated in our body when we're getting older. The eighth and final way of why dry fasting can benefit the body is it can improve our cognitive function. Though it might be really hard to understand, but fasting can improve our cognitive capacity. A study done on 22 women and 7 men during Ramadan during dry fasting showed that levels of serotonin, BDNF, and NGF had all significantly increased. All three of these are very important molecules to improve mood, function, and cognitive thinking, and are also very vital for neural protection and regeneration in the human brain. So those are my top eight ways that dry fasting can benefit the human body. What are your thoughts as far as what you think dry fasting benefits for you? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to check out more dry fasting or other fasting videos, check out our playlist. Go ahead and check out this dry fasting video right here and also check out this dry fasting playlist right over here and if you have not subscribed already go ahead and hit this subscribe button right here hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos this is dr legrand signing out and i will see you in the next video thanks bye